lot of people are really surprised when I tell them that I take care of babies and children who have glaucoma. They don't realize that babies can be born with glaucoma. They don't realize that children develop glaucoma very early in life. And this is because it's really quite uncommon. But yes, babies can be born with glaucoma, and it's a very different disease than glaucoma is in adults. Pediatric glaucoma is treated with the same things we use for adults. We use medicines, we use surgery, sometimes, but not very often with children, we use lasers. One of the differences is that we do a lot more surgery early in pediatric glaucoma. The kind of glaucoma that we most often think of babies as being born with is called primary congenital glaucoma. And that's glaucoma without any other problems in the eye. That's largely a surgical disease. We operate very early because surgery has a really good outcome and because medications tend not to work very well. There are other glaucomas, such as glaucoma that develops after cataract surgery, that we usually treat with drops first, but we often do surgery. Overall, there's a lot more surgery when we're dealing with children. And it's slightly different surgery in many cases than the surgery that we do for adults. It's a, it's a specialized type of surgery. Because pediatric glaucoma is uncommon and because the surgery is somewhat different than the surgery that we use for adults, it's very important for the best possible outcome for babies and children with glaucoma to be treated by somebody who has experience in treating pediatric glaucoma. This is not a disease that is well treated by people who don't deal with it on a regular basis. Glaucoma is genetic, but because most pediatric glaucoma that we see is recessive, or is of a type for which we don't know the genetics. It's not very common to see children whose parents have glaucoma. I've had a couple of families in which a parent has glaucoma and a child has glaucoma. In that case, we think it's a dominant characteristic. I've had several families, and there are many families reported in which primary congenital glaucoma is inherited recessively. That means that neither parent has the disease, neither parent is aware that they are at any particular risk for having a child with glaucoma. The glaucoma that follows surgery, for example, for congenital cataract is slightly different because that's a condition, cataract, which is often inherited dominantly. The short answer is that Glaucoma is genetic, but most of the patients who we see do not have any family history of glaucoma, and most of them do not have siblings with glaucoma. Primary congenital glaucoma responds very well to surgery. If the surgery is without technical complications, with one or two operations, at least 80% of our patients will have their glaucoma controlled. Most of these children will have pretty good vision and some of them will have excellent vision. It's possible to have decreased vision related to complications from glaucoma, but many of our children do extremely well. Without surgery, primary congenital glaucoma almost always leads to blindness. <music>